everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another meal ideas video. So this week I'm going to be sharing with you five meal ideas. The first one starting off with this gammon joint. I'm popping it in the slow cooker with some diced onions, some diced carrots, some salt and pepper to give it a little bit of seasoning. Then I'm adding in one can of Diet Coke. I was gonna add two in, but I definitely didn't need two. So I just added one in. I've never done this before, but I've heard so many good things about this. So I thought I would give it a whirl. I left it on high for about four hours, four to five hours, um, turned it in between just to give it a little stir and stuff and mix around. While the gamut was still cooking in the slow cooker, I made my sauce. So I'm using two teaspoons of mustard and some honey and just mixing that all together. Once the gammon joint was fully cooked, I then took it out of the slow cooker and popped it into an oven tray and covered it in the sauce I made just to give it an extra bit of flavouring and it also then coats it to make it really nice and golden when it's been in the oven. So I'm then going to pop it in the oven for 25 minutes to half an hour um, just to give it a good warm through and make it all nice and crispy on top. And then I'm going to shred it all up after I've mashed my potatoes. I warmed up some butter and milk and poured that on the potatoes just to give them an extra creamy finish. The meat was so delicious, it just shredded apart really nicely and this was such a yummy meal so I definitely would make this again with the Diet Coke in there, it tasted so nice. And then we served it up with some mashed potato and the leftover carrots and onions that was in the slow cooker as well and this was a brilliant meal, the boys really really loved it, it went down really well and we all enjoyed it. Moving on to meal number two, I'm going to be making a chicken stroganoff. I have made this before, I think, in another recipe video, but I did it in the slow cooker. And this time I'm doing it just frying the chicken and doing it that way on the cooker. And I think it turned out a lot nicer this way. So all you are going to need is some diced onion, some chicken breast of your choice. Um, we've got to dice chicken breast, some chicken stock, some creme fraiche some garlic seasoning, um, anyway you'll have seen all that, mushrooms and I'm just coating the chicken first with the garlic and salt and pepper to give it a really nice good seasoning. Then I'm going to pop in my chicken into the pan, make sure all the chicken is cooked really nicely and it's got lots of nice flavours to it. Then once it's cooked I'm going to remove it from the pan and start to cook my other things in the pan whilst the chicken sits to a side. So I'm putting some butter in the pan and I'm gonna saute my onions. Also pop in the mushrooms in at this point as well. I just dice them all up into smaller pieces so that the boys would eat them. I could have popped them in um, just big like they were, but I thought I'm gonna chop them all up and hopefully the boys will eat them better. I'm also adding in a tablespoon of flour just to thicken up the sauce because I'm gonna pour in the chicken stock in a minute. And this will then thicken up the sauce and make sure that it's really nice and creamy and thick. Then I'm adding in two tablespoons of creme fraiche and a little bit of mustard as well. I'm going to stir that all in, make sure it's really lovely and creamy. Nothing's 
Once everything's mixed together and it's all nice and creamy, I'm adding the chicken back in now. And then I'm also putting on some pasta to boil because we're going to serve this with some pasta. You could serve it with rice as well if you wanted to, but I wanted to do pasta tonight. So we're having it with some penne pasta. And now just to dish it all up, this meal went down really well with all of us. We really enjoyed this. I absolutely loved this meal. I just love like creamy, tasty pasta dishes anyway. Um, and then obviously the stroganoff chicken was just really, really nice. So we added a little bit of chives on top and some cheese and it was delicious. So this next one is a bit of um, a thrown together meal. You'll need some rice, you'll need some lazy garlic. You could just add garlic um, granules as well, but I just chose, chose this one. A carrot, an onion, some chopped tomatoes, also some tomato puree as well. I also added in some of these smoked bacon pieces, some sweet corn and a lamb stock cube some oregano, some paprika, some creme fraiche as well. And then we used some pork and beef mince, but I only used half a packet of this. And we also used wraps with this meal. So it was a bit like um, enchiladas, kind of, um, like a burrito, um, a bit of a Mexican kind of meal. Anyway, I added in my chopped onions, some grated carrot, um, my bacon bits and added all that to the frying pan and started to get that cooking. I'm also adding in a teaspoon of lazy garlic. This stuff smells so strong. I'm not like a massive lover, but it gives it a lot of flavor and it all just blends in anyway. Then I'm adding in some sweet corn. This is my favorite vegetable. I will add it in to as many things as I can. I love sweet corn. Then I'm adding in half of the minced meat and then the second half I popped into a zip bag and put the date on it and put it in the freezer. I've been doing this a lot lately with meat, especially during lockdown. It just helps to save more food and give us more meals so that I don't have to go to the supermarket as much. Then I'm adding in the stock cube and mixing everything together. And this was a really yummy, tasty meal. Paprika is a really nice thing to add to minced meat. So I added quite a lot of that in there. Then I added in my chopped tomatoes and mix everything together again. Then I added in a big dollop of creme fraiche. I just used what was left in the tub. It was about a tablespoon and a half. Mixed everything together, made sure it was really lovely and creamy. And then I added in a pack of rice. This was just microwaved rice. Um, and added all that in and mixed it all together. But this turned out really, really tasty. And we had it with wraps and just mixed it in. And we also had leftovers for the next day as well, which is always a bonus. We had about half of the pan left. Um, I had one wrap, Steve had two and the boys had one each and it was just a really nice different meal and everything was in there, like it was just really tasty, it had loads of different stuff in there and it was lovely. I probably would have preferred to have made some chips with it maybe, maybe next time I'll add a couple of chips on the side, like homemade chips, um, but it was really, really nice and it's like a really nice summery meal as well because it's something quick and easy. So the next one is these minted lamb kebabs. Again, this is a really lovely meal. I got this from Aldi and these are great. And I chopped up some potatoes and made some chips. These are just some really easy homemade chips that I've been making a lot lately. And we had some halloumi in, so I wanted to do with some fried halloumi. This is so yummy. We love halloumi. The boys really like it. 
All you have to do with the kebabs is pop them onto a baking tray and pop them in the oven. Ours were probably in for about half an hour, but we have an egg, so it's a bit different. Um, but obviously the instructions on the back of the pack. But there are my chips. I part boiled them um, in some boiling water and then I'm just seasoning them with some garlic granules and some salt and pepper and I'm just going to pop them in the oven again for about half an hour to 40 minutes and these are so nice and crispy and delicious. The sun is always shining bright But if the sky would open up You're staying home, you don't get out You always used to love the rain But LA changed her No rain, no flowers then I made a little sauce for the kebabs. So I added five teaspoons of fat-free Greek yogurt, added some mayo, some garlic granules, some chives, and some mint leaves from our garden, and just mixed everything in together. And it was a bit like a bit of a Greeky like dip. It was really, really nice. And I just spreaded that on top of the kebabs when they were ready. I bet you're cold. This was a really tasty summery dish and we really enjoyed it. I love making these homemade chips. They're so nice. And it's really nice to make your own chips instead of using like frozen chips. It's just really nice. So we had that with some sweet corn and then I drizzled on the little sauce that I'd made, the little dip. You're so damn cold. It never rings in California. And the last meal I've got to show you is a uh, sausage and mash. We love this in our house, but we tried these pork, tomato and mozzarella chocolate sausages from Aldi and they were delicious. And I did this with some carrot mash. So what I do is I grate loads of carrots up and pop that in with the potatoes when they're boiling and then they all go really super soft. And then once it's all ready, you can mash it all together and the boys just don't even tell it's there and they just obviously eat the mashed potato and it's got lots of grated carrot in there. So it's another way of getting some vegetables in there because they are really fussy eaters. So it's a brilliant way to sneak in a bit extra veg for them. This is definitely a favourite meal in our house. It's just something that we all always eat and it's just really yummy. So that's the end of this video. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.